It has been eight months since I graduated with my degree in computer science. It's crazy how fast those eight months have gone. But with December here and the fall semester coming to a close, a lot of people are graduating with their degrees in computer science and a whole lot of other areas. It's kind of had me thinking, if I could go back to 2020 and declare my major again, would it be computer science? And if it was, what would I tell myself to do differently to change the outcome of school? We're talking four years, thousands of dollars, and thousands of hours worth of time. You really wanna make sure that it's worth all of those resources before going in full steam. So the first big question, would I do computer science again if I could go back in time and declare my major? Absolutely. I loved computer science. I loved doing computer science. It was more than just learning the fundamentals of a computer. It's crazy what you learn. The problem solving skills that you develop through computer science is next level. I mean, we're talking, you spend hours of your time debugging code and finding problems and fixing them. And as you go through your program, you'll notice that like you spend so much time solving problems and eight months out of school, I like it helps me so much just with problem solving in life in general. I can't express to you how glad I am that I learned those skills from computer science. And yes, you are learning the fundamentals of a computer how a computer works from the ground up, how we took rocks and made computers, but also the soft skills and the extra skills you learn on top of computer science are so valuable that you're getting so much more than just that computer science degree. When I actually started going to college, I didn't know what I wanted to be. I chose computer science because I liked playing video games, I liked computers, and I liked tech. So, computer science to me was the closest choice to do stuff related to what I already like doing, and it kind of turned out to be a great choice. I loved my assignments. I didn't love doing assignments, but it kind of solved that problem-solving itch in my head. It, it scratched it for me, and I loved it. Having that sense of accomplishment when you finish a coding project or a really difficult assignment is something that I really just, you can't be. When I look back on it, I mean, you just, the accomplishment you feel when you finish big semester long projects or finish your sprint for your capstone, it's, it's so nice to have. And when I started computer science, I kind of looked at it, you know, like anybody else does and, hey, I can go to school for four years and make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, in reality, it's, not what's gonna happen, right? You kinda have to start somewhere. As we go along, I mean, there's more and more people coming into this field majoring in computer science. So finding a job that pays that high to start is just harder and harder. And there's so many more people competing for even lower paying jobs. Now, that's a big thing for me that if I went back to school, I would change. And that was my desire and how much drive I had to get an internship, to put work in, to acquire internships. Um, I definitely kind of lived by the, I'm gonna get my four year degree, I'm gonna do the bare minimum, do my requirements, get a job, move on with life. And that was until uh, you kind of start to realize that getting an internship is incredibly difficult Depending on where you live, it might be a little bit easier or it might be a little bit harder. But for me, I went to school in West Michigan and there's not really much going on out there in terms of tech. So to find an internship is something that most computer science students have to do. And it is getting so difficult. I mean, you I'm sure people have seen videos online of like just the lines and lines and lines of CS students waiting to go to career fairs. and. If I could go back, if you are a freshman, if you are just completing your first semester, start learning any sort of extra skills that you can to help you acquire an internship. My personal suggestion would be take the time to look at different roadmaps of the different ways you can go with computer science, right? You have data science, data analytics, software engineering, information systems, really. You can go so many different places and if you kind of choose what you wanna do, right from the start and start 
building projects and building those skills towards that roadmap and working on that roadmap, you're gonna set yourself up so much better than I ever did. All right, if you want to do data science and you want to do machine learning and you really wanna build models, start learning to do it. Python is not difficult to learn. Most colleges are teaching Python as their starting language. At least I know mine switched from Java to Python right as I was kind of finishing up school. So I'm sure other universities do the same. And if you already know Python, learning the packages for machine learning and learning just the resources that you need to know for machine learning, it's not as difficult as you might think it is. And if you can start building basic projects now as a freshman or first year, you know, first semester, first year student, you can build some incredible projects by your sophomore year when you should be getting internships and looking into internships. And if I could go back, I, I would tell myself, start making projects now, don't wait. It, it will help you so much in the long run. And I kick myself every day for not doing it myself. So kind of going back though, I talked about roadmaps, right? And figuring out a path that you want to go. That's something that I didn't do. When I did computer science, I said, okay, here's computer science, coding. And that's what I think a lot of people do, right? Is they see computer science, they, most people think like the software engineering, you're a coder, you're just a little nerd in a cave writing code. There's so much more you can do with computer science. And I didn't really kind of look into career paths until my junior year and really decide what I wanted to do. And by then I didn't really have the chance to take electives and build projects on the side that would help me to go down a career path, right? And I know that it's kind of hard, but a lot of colleges have pathways set up, right? If you want to do data science, you want to do machine learning, your college probably has machine learning classes and machine learning electives and things you can do that kind of put you more on the data science side of things. Or if you want to do data analytics, you might be able to do kind of data visualization and Tableau and learn Power BI and all of that sort of thing. If you want to do software engineering, some colleges have a straight up software engineering degree, but if you're doing CS, you could probably take software engineering related classes and still, you know, go down that path. And that's something that will help you so much. It'll make you feel like you're working towards a goal because when you get to the end of just a computer science degree, you're like, okay, what do I wanna do? <laughs> At least that's kind of what I did. And I'm a data analyst now, and I eventually kind of want to do more of the data science side of things, but it was, it's, it's a lot, it's overwhelming. And if you can kind of start early and know where you want to go, you can build yourself into such a stronger person within computer, the computer science realm towards your goals. And it, it will help so much. This is probably a controversial decision to say this, but uh, a lot of colleges host career fairs, and in my opinion, it was a complete waste of my time. Um, the 30 minutes to drive downtown, park, get out of my car, walk, go walk around a big room filled with hot sweaty people to talk to representatives from companies who either A, didn't know about any positions related to my career field, or told me to just apply online. That was it, right? And I think a lot of career fairs are turning into that. And it's a good way to get exposure to what kind of companies are in your area and are hiring. But I know like for me, I could just go see the list of companies online and I would rather see the list of companies online and do my own research than go in person because I wasted so much time sitting in a line waiting to talk to some rep who only knew about the business side of the company. Okay, well, that doesn't help me get a job in computer science or that realm, right? And uh, even if they did know about it, most of the time it was, okay, wow, it's, it's really nice to meet you. Go apply online. And maybe they would take your resume, which is cool, but at the end of the day, it's still kind of just a job application. And I know that maybe some companies kind of give you a little bonus if you go to the career fair and talk to them. Maybe it kind of gets you into the interview process a little bit quicker than going through a resume scan. But to me, it was such a big waste of time and 
if you are required to go, obviously go, but do your research beforehand so you go to only the companies that you really want to talk to because a lot of people that go to career fairs just really aren't sure about what positions they actually have open. So make sure you kind of look around first. And if you don't have to go, I would honestly almost suggest not going. People say networking is great. It's good to network. It's, in my opinion, the people at my career fair just didn't really care that much, right? Networking, they, I mean, yeah, like, okay, connect with me on LinkedIn. That's great, but you don't know who I am. I'm some random college student, you know? And so uh, I probably wouldn't have gone to them because I didn't get my internship from the career fair. I didn't even meet anyone um, from the career fair at my company at all. So I think I would have rather put that time towards working on a different project or working on school, something a little bit more worth my time. One of the last kind of things I wanted to just address real quick was um, you can go to college for four years, thousands of dollars, thousands of hours of hours of time, and you can get a degree, right? You can have your bachelor's degree in computer science, but there's also the option of going to like a coding boot camp if you want to do software engineering, right? Or even I think data science or data analytics, like you could just take like a boot camp, right? Pay thousands of dollars still, but be on more of a dedicated track. And I kind of asked myself, would I go, if I were to go back, would I just do that? I still think I would do school. Um, I have met so many good friends and I have so many friends from school and I built a lot of relationships at school that I think were really important. And I'm not saying that you can't do that at a boot camp, but one of my really good friends now, um, I met him sophomore year of college and we worked on almost every single project together. If we had a class, we would almost schedule classes together. And it's like building those relationships are really important, especially in the, the career field and getting a job. He actually helped me to get an interview at his company because he graduated a semester before me. And so it's it was really important. And I, I would just highly suggest if you are kind of between the two, maybe try going to college first. It's, you're still gonna spend a lot of money and a lot of time, but you meet a lot of really good people. And the very, very final thing I kind of wanted to address is if you are a first year student, you're in your first, you just finished your first semester, maybe the spring semester is your first semester, look into the combined degree programs because I know my school offered it and they were starting to offer it more, but if your school does a combined degree, right, a bachelor's in maybe computer science, and then you do an extra year, you can get your master's in cybersecurity or data science, whatever. I would highly, highly, highly recommend taking that opportunity because one, you're getting your master's degree in one year less of time. Typically, you can get it in five years instead of six. And two, you're kind of setting yourself ahead of your peers, right? If you are going to school for your bachelor's degree and you can work on your master's at the same time, in five years, you can have your master's degree and be ahead of everybody with their bachelor's and it only costs you an extra year. And anybody else that graduated with you that wants to go back to school for their master's has to go for two years. And I think that with the way the industry is going, a bachelor's really just isn't enough anymore. And soon I don't think it will be enough. I think it'll be a field where you basically need to have a master's to get some sort of good job. And if you can take advantage of that now, because usually you have to take master's classes your sophomore, junior, and senior year to kind of make up for the credits, right? To bring it down to a year of extra school. If you can do that now, you will help yourself so much. Yes, you will pay more in tuition, but you will have more experience and you will be able to get a job that will probably be able to pay off that tuition in no time. You'd be probably fine if you got a master's and you get a job, you're good, okay? If, if you have a combined degree program, look into it. It is not something that you can just skate by on. You do have to put effort into it. But if I could go back, I would have done it. I didn't find out until my junior year of college that we had a combined degree program. And by then it's too late because you have to do it by your sophomore year. Whatever time frame, it was too late for me to do it because of the extra classes or the way that the combined credits work. Um, I just, I wasn't able to do it in time. 
and I want to pass that on to anybody who is just starting computer science, look into it. I think it would be so, so, so worth your time. Um, it's, it will help you so, so far down the road. If you are currently a computer science major or maybe you're thinking about it and you have any questions for me, drop them down below. I would love to talk about anything with my experience in school or my suggestions to future computer science majors. Um, I know there are several memes and stuff online about how computer science is just turning into the put the, buy, put the fries in the bag um, kind of career path. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.